Thanks for the recommendation. So, I finally watched um, Your Name, and uh, it really made me cry. <laughs> it. Okay, let's do the proper bits. Let's do the actual introduction. Um, your Name is a anime film about two characters, one called Mitsuha and one called Taki. And I really, really liked this film. I also went to do it completely blind. Like I had no idea what it was about. So I just thought it was like a cute little romance. And I was like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. And I'm like, okay, I will be the judge of that. And then I just spent an hour and a half, I think this film was, just crying. Just the whole thing just, just made me cry. So when I said like I knew nothing about this film before going into it, the whole body swap thing was like at first i was like whoa what, we, what are these two swapping bodies like I, I was very confused by the things that were happening and then when i kind of got on board with it i'm like okay this is like an interesting way for two characters to like get to know each other i didn't even know it was like a romance or anything i was like what is this film and is it just sort of like got into the body swap thing and we had a good time with it and we learnt new things and we got to know them and we got to love them <laughs> Mm. I would actually say that this is the first film that I'd seen for a very very long time that actually like kept my attention because let me let me get my notebook actually for this thing so normally when I'm watching a film or a tv show and I'm reviewing it I will write in my notebook like what's happening in the film what's going on just so I can like keep it up like keep it with myself what's going on I'm not gonna spoil all the details but we'll say when he goes to the village and learns what is going on I legitimately just wrote no loads of O's I, I might have to blur the other bits out but if you can see where is it <laughs> there it is there it is focus on it camera believe in your soul it won't focus on it but it does just say no <laughs> and i meant to be writing in this to be like this this happened then and this happened then and this is this person's name and this is this but i stopped writing in it for like a couple out <laughs> halfway through the film i just stopped writing because i was sat there like this like i uh, just hands on face glued to the screen i, j I just couldn't I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal. And I, then I realised, I got to the end of the film and I'm like, I've, I've wrote nothing. So after the no incident, I literally wrote in at the end about how it ended and that's it. I just stopped writing. It just was too much. <laughs> so for me, when I'm talking about if I enjoyed a story, I always think about, did it make me forget that it was a story? That sounds weird. Let me, let me explain it. I am a person who has read quite a few books about story structure and writing things and creative aspects to do with writing. I've read quite a few and done some, watched some lectures, done that kind of stuff. So when I'm reading a book, watching a TV show, I can kind of like, see the steps they're taking like okay this is that one this is the inciting incident this is the blah 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 you know i can see the things that we're doing and why we're doing it and i can kind of see the cogs moving in the story which i appreciate i think when anybody who who gets into film for example when you start watching films you can see the cogs moving and you can go okay this is happening for this reason this is happening for this reason but during this film i completely forgot that I was in the room, that I was watching this for a YouTube video, that I was doing this for quote unquote, I know I don't make any money with this channel, but like work. And I, 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 I just had, I was just staring at it. I was like, oh my God, find her, find her. Yeah, so yeah, it just, it made me forget that I was a person, that this was the thing. I just watched the film in all and like desperately hoping for it all to go well. So in my opinion, that, to me means it's a good film if you make me forget about all the moving pieces and the cogs that make up a story then it's good i also loved the more things that i loved about this film i also loved the um the art style like wow the animation and the art style was just so <laughs> everything about this was so pretty i loved the kind of i'm gonna call it like yin and yang but i don't think it's maybe right what i'm saying of the male and the female character like all of her surroundings were 
very nature based and very like pretty greens and water and all that and his were quite industrial and metal and steel and steel is metal okay that was stupid but it, it's been a very long day so metal and sky and glass so their worlds were kind of separate but it was very nice to go to each world via their perspectives i just loved how beautiful the art style was and everything that they kind of achieved with it and the differences in their worlds and like speaking of like her surroundings i liked the whole the rituals and like how rural japan works and the making of the sake and the threads and i just loved all that i thought that was really interesting and then to counteract it with the sort of modern day japan and the city and bustle and hustle and doing all this kind of stuff and it was a nice transition and i for some reason i don't know why i loved it so much when they were like transitioning like little transition shots the door from like the angle at the bottom like from the ground there's an angle of like the doors closing and it was her door sliding you know those wooden doors there's probably a name and i don't know it and then his metallic automatic doors sliding i just i really liked that i don't know why i enjoyed the doors so much but i really enjoyed the doors i was kind of surprised with how funny this film was because as I kind of went, oh, okay, it's a romance. And then there was the whole thing of um, Taki waking up in her body and he's like doing what any teenage boy would do if he woke up in a female's body, just has a little feel. She has a little look and it, it just was kind of funny and I didn't expect it to make me laugh like it did and I didn't expect it to make me cry like it did. So I think if you're looking for an emotional film, it's very much recommended that this would be a good one. And then I'm going to speak one more thing in this film and then I'm going to wrap up. But this scene where they're on that hill together during magic hour and he says, write on my hand and write your name on my hand and I'll do it to you. And he writes on her hand. <laughs> no! It was, <laughs> it was so good. And then when she wrote, learns like what he's actually written on her hand. This film destroyed me. It was so good. I literally have nothing negative to say about this film. I was like trying to write this review and be like, hmm, maybe I should say this, maybe I should say this. And it's all just come out in a big like gushing for this film. It was amazing. I am super glad I watched it. I would recommend it to anybody to watch it. And I literally have nothing bad to say about this film. It is a 10 out of 10. Amazing film, it made me cry, but it was so good so good i loved them i loved everything about it but it made me sad but in like a good way i cried so much but i loved it it was amazing 10 out of 10 banger banger <laughs> Woo! banger of a film uh yes i loved it i'm gonna shut up now about this film but i really really enjoyed it so thank you i'm gonna shut up bye ciao for now <laughs>